So at our 2019 Scottsdale auction, I bought the rights to buy VIN number one of a 2020 GT500. And the reason why? Everything in that car started with Little Red and the Green Hornet. This is the DNA that led to that car. Take a look. When Craig had the winning bid for the 2020 GT500, he got more than just the rights to VIN number one. Craig also got the rights to specify what paint color he wanted for the car. Craig and his wife Carolyn were at Ford's Flat Rock assembly plant when the 2020 GT500 rolled off the assembly line. Craig's vision of the car was to have it pay homage to the Green Hornet. It just seemed like that car needed to have its heritage tied back to its predecessors. He asked that it be painted like the original with a lime gold base topped with candy green. Hand painted on the side is EXP 500, exactly like the original Green Hornet. The color matched perfectly. As we know, Craig drives his cars fast. And this car goes fast. It's the most powerful Mustang ever built with a hand-built 765 horsepower, 5.2 liter supercharged V8 engine with a seven speed dual clutch transmission. And I got to breathe life into it by hitting the start button at the end of the line. So it was a great full circle. At the Barrett-Jackson auction in January, when Craig unveiled Little Red, he took the opportunity to also show off the 2020 GT500 on display right alongside the Green Hornet. And right alongside Little Red was the 2020 version of Little Red. It was quite a moment when Craig was joined by Jason Billups, Aaron Shelby, Steve Davis, and Jim Owens to fire up all four cars. The Green Hornet and Little Red were idling side by side at the Scottsdale auction. But the biggest thrill for Craig and everyone involved in the restoration was taking the Green Hornet out on the track with Little Red to do some burnouts. Getting the two cars in their glory on the track together history that was never documented if it ever happened. It's part of my legacy to document this point of Americana history.